Hello guys, it's me and Brock, the um, A plane. This is our beauty. Well, last time we had a little version of this. It went went too fa fast. Yep. All right, so we're about ready to maiden flight the plane now. I did have to reconfigure the battery bay because the CG was way too nose heavy. So I removed the forward part of it and I extended it back here a little bit so I can move the battery from this bulkhead all the way back into this air compartment here. Hopefully uh, it'll balance out. It's about right in the middle now. I used the online calculator to calculate where the CG should be, the location. So I got it set as between three and four inches from the leading edge of the wing at the root. So hopefully it works. Just did a range check and everything seems good. I think it's time to fly it. I'm gonna do one final check of the control surfaces. Elevator up, down, right or left, right. Ailerons left, right. Flaps half, flaps full, flaps up. Moment of truth, let's do it. The grass is too high. Throttle hold. We're gonna have to do it over here. Throttle active. Flight number two, we moved the uh, battery back a little bit to move the CG towards the tail a little bit more. It was a little bit nose heavy. Throttle Clear prop. Ready. Look at that, it didn't even flip over. Oh! 
Oh, look at that. It didn't even flip over. Nice. All right, success. So I had to move the battery back as far as I could. So I'm going to add another spar to the back of this because I noticed that it was bending down just a little bit. I think it could use a little extra strength. So I think that'll help with the CG problem. Just uh, it's a little bit nose heavy. But overall it flew pretty good. Uh, it has a um, pretty big wingspan for how heavy it is. Uh, the weight came in at about 1200 grams, which is almost exactly the same as the FPV bush plane. And this plane's wing is actually bigger than that plane. So it flies pretty good, it has a pretty low wing loading. And the landing gear also held up pretty well. One landing was not too good. I kind of tip sawed it and landed um, real hard on the nose gear. But it just bent it back a little bit. But it doesn't look like it broke anything, so that's pretty good. Very sturdy. And I also didn't have any problem uh, taking off. I lined the wheels pretty straight, so um, it tracked pretty straight when I was taking off. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, so the next day now, uh, I've made some modifications to the battery compartment. I ripped out the old compartment and I rebuilt this battery tray here to allow the battery to be moved back even further. And then I added another spar on the uh, horizontal stabilizer on the back there. Hopefully those modifications um, place the CG in a correct location. And yesterday we had some nose heavy problems so now we are pretty sure this is going to work. Tail heavy, so it's look at this. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think it was tail heavy. It's Okay. Right.